Okay, one of us is missing, but we'll try and cover whatever has been told to us to cover. Okay, so what we are going to discuss is that how the future of NBFC will look like. Okay. So clearly, I think, um, you know, future is tech. Uh, you know, we, we, we had one session you know, talking about technology in depth. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, we, we talk about agile, we talk about flexibility, we talk about a whole lot of things. But I think for me, the most important thing is that you have to give technology to the end custom. Okay. Okay. You may have a lot of technology within the organization, but importantly, I think, uh, in fact, the most important to kind of give technology to the end custom. You have to enable him with technology. Otherwise, these customers move on. So let me give you a small story. Uh, I, was, I was brought in uh, some 20 years back uh, by the Times of India group to run a business called Times Jobs. Yeah. Uh, there was a business magazine or a, or a flyer within the Times of India group, a newspaper called Ascent. I don't know whether, how many of you have heard of it. This was a recruitment newspaper. Okay, So it used to come in every Wednesday and uh, full of ads. It used to be some 40, 50, you know, uh, pages thick and um, this is this is the time when I walked into the organization it was a 600 crore category 600 crore so I was brought in uh, and uh, and the reason for for which was uh, there was a business called Nokri which started and Nokri uh, was they started feeling that you know they, they're eating into some of the smaller businesses of theirs right so that's the reason uh, they said you know, let's start times jobs okay that's the reason I was called in uh, Ten years later, and and we were too late to start. Kind of, not yet started three four years back, and we started after three four years. A little late in the game actually. Uh, Ten years later, when I exited out of the organization, uh, this newspaper was a sixty crore brand. Left, that's it, and it was inside the newspaper. And Nokri was a six hundred plus crore brand. My business was one hundred and twenty crores. Okay, what happened? Times of India circulation grew by twenty five percent. It grew actually, the last ten years. 25, 25, 27% in group. But this newspaper disappeared. And the reason is that the customers moved on. Okay, you don't have to wait for a Wednesday to happen to look for a job. You can look for a job now, right? That's what Nokri provided. So the point I'm trying to make is technology is a very, very important play at the end customer. Okay, we've seen many examples like, you know, Kodak, um, you know, uh, there, is, there is this company called... Uh, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the company. The many, many large companies, Nokia, all of these guys got out of business primarily because the customer moved on. Fantastically run companies, great technology inside. But to the customer, the technology was too late or too weak, the customer moved on. Okay. So NBFC will also see the same trends, right? So we are looking at a lot of things which is going to happen in the next five years. We have seen a lot of things happen in the last, last five years, right? When we started business, you know, we used to kind of get the agreement signed on the paper. Okay. Today it's all digital, right? So, so we had a mission that, you know, if, if, you know, you should get a loan before the Uber arrives. Okay, that was a mission statement that we set out with. Okay, and, and people used to laugh back then, 10, 11 years back, right? Today, it, it, it is much, much before an Uber arrives, you can get a loan, right? So that's, that's, fa that's fast how the technology is gone, okay? So quickly, so what I'll do is that I have a few questions to ask. Uh, I'm going to move on, you um, know, from here on. There are some key trends, okay, that we're looking at, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll kind of open this up with uh, maybe uh, with Sangeeta uh, to kind of uh, answer. So, what is the limiting reason for the growth of NBFC, according to you? Uh -huh. A lot of people are talking about technology, but what do you think is the limiting reason? Yeah, so the same thing, like uh, we all talk about digital transformation, but... Uh, no, we act in silos. That is what some one of the speakers was saying. And silos means what? Like, you know your core strength. You don't expect the others uh, to understand whatever you are doing. But your uh, thing will be effective uh, for the other person. That is what collaboration says. So, there is this collaboration factor is missing uh, when digital transformation you see. The second thing is the niche product. One only one product, microfinance uh, mm, the sector has been giving out like it, it's like it has to be approved by your LOS uh, kind of thing. What about an emergency situation when a, a microfinance sector has already started giving some 
on Jefferson loan also. But when it comes to emergency health loan, do we have a product yet? So that is another thing. The third is like when it comes to SDG factors, we are already in the microfinance sector catering to 11 SDG goals already. Some of them are into environment. Some of them are into governance. Governance is obviously required in, in microfinance sector as well. But do we pay attention to environment or this thing, uh, this governance thing? That is the third limiting factor. And also processes thereof. Because we uh, have to kind of, uh, there, is, there is an efficiency factor also when we share resources. Uh, but but no, there is a resistance. The last uh, last speaker also. Yeah. 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 Rohit, you want to add something? So, uh, when we are talking about the limitations to, uh, for which the NBFCs may be facing in terms of growth, I would say primary uh, the resources as the, as uh, NBFCs uh, the liability is not there inside, so they have to look out for the resources and the primarily they fall on the commercial banks which are the largest lenders. So I would say raising resources from them and of late RBI has also told them that the NBFC should look for more other alternate means of raising funds. That has been there but in uh, what has happened in last 4-5 years especially after ILFS and after that the certain uh, uh, avenues like commercial papers which were for the larger uh, NBFCs have stopped. So resources is one such factor and uh, with the co-lending opportunities coming and the scrutization the DA that can be the alternate one and in the long term we can see that the bond market which is opening up the global bond market which is starting opening up in India in next 2-3 years uh, that may will add up in raising the resources so, resources is one and I would say yeah regulation the NBFCs if we just see in last 10 years from under regulation now we are moving to little over regulation I would not say the regulation has to be there uh, and the transparency has to be built but the way it is being tightened up so and the, of late there was a uh, notification two days back that every NPFC has to now give uh, every GIR uh, it's a very transparent way of telling a customer okay, what kind of cost will be to them and still lot many NBFCs were not so transparent and so much of hidden costs were built up so all those regulations are bring the transparency. So uh, how to, uh, I would say, uh, uh, bring those NBFCs to how to counter those things and the agility factor, the, uh, the certain things which the NBFCs have, being uh, customer-centric, being near to uh, serving the underserved and the underpenetrated areas. So that will be their core and uh, he thinks that technology, which I think the whole session has been there, will be an enabler and has been the one very strong point which the NBFC has been using for last so many years that has helped for the faster growth. Got Plus, it. yeah, resources and uh, I would say still will be the major Got road block. Yeah. So, Aditi, uh, you know, I would like to bring you in. How do large NBFC like yours adapt to these rapid changes? Right, There's a lot of change happening from technology point of view. And how is credit distribution, you know, somebody talked about in the morning that instant credit and all, you know, you kind of give upfront credit. So how does your organization keep, you know, cope up with this kind of changes? So technology uh, is a very valid point. Like the, because like I will say for an NBFC, first is the customer acquisition. And how do you get that? So for us, like we operate in the microfinance sector and that is still almost 90% of our business. So for us, the major thing is how to acquire somebody right. And that's where technology comes. And we do multiple things like and how we began. We began with having our own technology, our own software that was developed in-house. And through which we are actually able to apply many things which our peers will not. And that's the competitive advantage we may have. But coming on, how do we really make use of it? One is, of course, uh, making use of the technology on onboarding 
then of course it is the data that we have and how we manage that so in our case what we do is we also do cross sell to our existing customers of higher ticket size individual loans in form of micro housing and micro sme where we give them 2 3 4 lakh small loans where again nobody is present but since we have so nbfc is the advantage that we have is the outreach yeah. so for uh, instance we are present in 100000 villages of india we meet 34 lakh borrowers twice a month so when we have that advantage that's where we use technology one is to do better onboarding and then to do better cross sell because if you see any large nbfc they all start as a mono line and then they have to diversify and that's where they actually become a behemoth who can actually sustain so that's the in that uh, journey technology is actually a good enabler it cannot still i will say replace the human touch we have to meet our borrowers twice a month because then only we will know whether she is migrating she is able to repay she is sick she is not sick and whatever is the challenge but then about through facial recognition through iris we can with ensure that it is not for instance your aadhar with this picture and my number and i am applying for a loan so that's where we use tech so to just uh, i will say enforce our system processes to the extent possible and use the data for better business line got it sandeep over to you so uh, co creation is is the need of the hour right so in any business for that matter not just nbfc business any business co creation in the tech world especially uh, you know there is a saying which says that there is no point reinventing the wheel okay so if you are good at something and i am good at something let's together collaborate and you know? so according to your experience and your you know organization you know give us some examples of co creation you know not necessarily just nbfc you know examples of co creation you know where we have done together something with technology partners or with other organizations uh, to kind of foster growth so as a, a co creation has been there for, for long in fact and it has changed its prominence like uh, so initially a co creation word may not be coined very very well today it's coined very well it's very formally put in a process right initially co creation was also there and you and in fact you give a fantastic example at the start and as the sangeet also uh, it's more or less born out of like you can give an example of ascent in fact you know yeah. if the company would have heard the customers more it would have been a different picture if some if the silos would have come out of their cage and work differently that would have been different and these two things in a combination when it comes out coming coming out of your boundaries and going out and going out and putting the and putting the decision making putting the decision making thing into someone another's could that makes change so when you put the customer itself when you put a customer itself in the decision making uh, chair it it makes a huge it makes a huge difference so organizations used to do this but it was not very formally done but now it's done very very formally it's a co- so there will be some organizations who will look forward they will have uh, they will have literally identified who will be the co partners who will be what they will be doing how they are identified what are the key criteria as will be then how we are going to judge those people and after a certain time how we are going to review this oh, i said uh, the the biggest example rather than from a finance industry or rather tech which is a very common every, everybody i think most of you must have played the game lego the sig lego yes yeah, yeah. if you go on lego site also they will uh, they have this uh, they will have this so whenever they come up with any any new game they put it to the customers first to their customers first and they have bang so if anything that doesn't cross 10000 watts it's not going to yeah. not going to come so by this they are not only identifying an opportunity but they are already making a ground for their product so previously it was not the thinking was not that that you are making a ground for something Previously, it was just identifying and clearing the fog out that you are launching something, you are doing something. But when today you co-partner or co-owner, you are already making a you a runway for your product. You are already making you are already trying to get some garnering some loyalty from your customers. And this is from all sides. It's not only from a consumer side. It's it can be internal. It can be internal with your vendors. It can be with your consumers, or or it can be with your with your uh, employees till that extent. and it's not much related or till extended towards uh, the banking or the financial uh, sector 
the banking and the financial sector will do it do it more because they are more spread the data is very high they will they will have they will know the customers very very well and the fintech plays a very very well important in one big thing that has changed in the coming in in the last years is in the fintech uh, space grew very well so today they are uh, an organization when they want to turn around things they will have a legacy system behind them. a fintech may not have that legacy system but and a fin- and today organizations are not shy to take a fintech company which fulfills their compliance as start of the clicks so that's how the this scenario has been changed from a prominence to uh, just uh, removing the fog to a formal process of it got it so uh, so you know, let me just you know talk about a little bit of some of the trends that we are seeing at least you know being in business we some i, I captured some of the trends uh, in the in the tech space at least uh, you know where nbfc would see a future okay so i think clearly one is the e-commerce is going to be one of the biggest forces of lending okay so there will be a lot of play within the e-commerce where nbfcs will get together to kind of play right so that that's one one area right second is that uh, there is there has been a huge uproar of the upi and the contactless wallets and the the entire uh, what do you call escrow system that you know the government has created the uh, you know ecosystem has created for us right there will be a lot of uh, you know lending happening in and around this area right at ease of you know through through various uh, escrow mechanism and all that becomes very easy right so through through wallet or through whatever it is so that that again is an area that you know any nbfc is wanting to get kind a of play the tech play should be considering to kind of look at right so that's that's number 2 number 3 is you know we tried this uh, you know a lot of them tried this uh, is going to come back again which is called pay later okay so pay later has been attempted and you know covid happened and you know some of us lost money uh, but i think it will come back uh, it's become a, it, it's become a big phenomena in the in the western world uh, it has to come to india it is all about you know data you know the more and more data if you get i think pay later is also going to be a phenomena which will which will see right so uh, nbfcs who are wanting to kind of play that side should should look out for that space and you know see to collaborate with some of them i think uh finally one of the trend that i see is that uh, uh, there is a huge change in the way regulator is looking at you know technology fintech all of this right so they're not you know saying no they're saying they're saying yes and they are accommodating it okay so they're accommodating they are they're wanting us to kind of you know play by the rules uh but they're very very progressive in thinking they're very very uh super agile in terms of you know creating uh, the ecosystem by which all of us are Uh, playing it the right way, uh, so that you know we don't get hurt, right? So I think these are some of the trends that I see, uh, at least in the in the space that I'm we are operating. But you know, we can wrap this up before we wrap it up. We just want to kind of pick everybody's brain here. Uh, my question is that you know, apart from being simple, faster, you know, there's a simple way of delivering credit to the customer. There's a faster way of you know decisioning. Uh, there's lots of data that we are collecting. there is a lot of third party you know processes that we are doing to kind of validate the customer apart from this you know i want to ask each one of you within your organization not the seri nbfc only how is it that technology is changing your interaction with the customer so nibi you want to take it first so so there's nothing now without technology or or technology it has it has to be there uh there is nothing like a paperless or a non paper every every transaction in, in our industry goes uh, goes goes digital on the issues what uh, the challenge that we look at today is simply is that uh then when technology comes in basically it changes complete the culture and the expectations of the consumers itself okay. the consumer himself is and it's, it's it's something that we all as as the industry has and we have made the consumer or may we have spoiled him for a choice and for us spoiling for the choice so the choices are so high basically it is have you have to identify it's it's not the job of the consumer to come and tell you that this is the thing or that is thing your your analytics your data your automation your the, your technology has to go and identify the problem statements of the of the of the consumer come back solve it in a given period of that of time today's consumer is not shy of voicing his opinion anywhere nor he is very loyal to the to any one singular product or nor is loyal to a brand brands so a service is his first service is his first criteria and he is very start for time so all these things when put to put together when we see technology 
we don't see a technology from a, from respect to that create creating a very star trek experience for a customer solve his problems quick fast and give him what he wants or wants at least in the financial sector it's very uh, the data is normally available the customer transacts digital footprints are available so you know the customer till a certain extent and a very great extent they will know that and comparatively a uh, comparative is comp- is easier to put forward what he needs but till what extent organizations will follow it and how do they take it so that's a different question mesh so while we still uh, continue to remain a high tech business model technology comes into play when we are actually offering them other services like we can offer them insurance consumer durables other product financing which enhances her life makes it more productive and educates her about these because still in rural india we find while uh, the even the credit penetration is barely it's not even two digits if i may say so while uh, half of the gdp comes from there it's only 8 to 9% of formal credit including uh, us so that is the case of credit then comes insurance and savings and other things so that's where we feel through technology while we have the outreach while we have the connect we can actually offer these and make are uh, a more inclusive india is how the role we can play jira uh, so we we are looking up at like say anticipating the requirements before the customer identifies their need so we are uh, kind of uh, uh, focusing on predicting the trend but we are also building up the customer journey so in both the cases we need trans- uh, technology to come in to be that entire uh, journey to first go with your boss yeah uh, i would again say that technology is an enabler it improves the customer experience it improves your processes and digitalize but ultimately the we have to see the what the customer is is the services which we are giving whether we are giving the product which customer needs within the time and yes the technology will help us on uh, the delivering that product but for uh, the customer and especially the segments which we are uh, serving in tier 3 tier 4 cities the most important is will be the uh, product which we are giving to that and whether it is the product which the customer requires according to his need and technology will help us to improve that experience and that delivery thank you so much so before uh, before uh, we kind of uh, uh, i think the chat has come already come the time is up got a yellow slip yeah so anyway so we we also done with the discussion So uh, thank you Elets for having us over and you know uh, spending some time with us. Uh just before I go or before all of us leave uh, just one word from all of you just one word okay according to you what is the future of NBFC uh, how do you see the future of NBFC just one word answer Rohit That yeah, definitely is great but there can be few stumbling blocks one just one word one word i would say exciting as uh, our friend told exciting sangeeta resilient resilient thrilling thrilling what do we ask past this okay fantastic so that's it so you can you can hear how it's going to be it's it's going to be all tech and it will be fast exciting exhilarating you know you heard that thank you so much people for hearing us thank you